Watch yourself, I'll be on you in a flash! <laughs> Let's go. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> Drive, damn you, drive! That is Richard Owen! A vile, despicable wretch of a man! Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Faster, you netwit! Faster! Not at all? But if you're trying to intimidate me, Ruffy, and you're wasting your time. I've always wondered how much of a beating this type of vehicle could take. I just have a few questions for you, sir. Now, was that so hard? Yes! A bowl of soup would be enough to...
my bones and help get <laughs> I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had a most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Where would I find the doctor? Just witness the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Elitson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? 
doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. How to do it. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite. Thank you, sir. Well, you'll know where to find me, sir. Oh, go on now, sir. I will wait here. very peculiar about that Dr. Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson cannot be allowed to continue his experimentation. And then he tells her to bugger off, but she can't get out without her key. <laughs> uh, she'll report him to Miss Nightingale, you know. What the devil? Something. I'm with you! Is that... Fridgy man! Oh. Oh. I'm ah. taking this shot! <laughs> <laughs>
I must speak to Nurse Nightingale. You have my gratitude, sir. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I will not be worth
But you aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir. But you aren't allowed in here. I'm sorry, sir. But you aren't allowed in here. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave, sir. <sighs> Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. And since both specimens had... Ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford's steric has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I hear a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing?
Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but he's simply that. content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otso Berg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the initiate continue to sync the data. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Expecting a fist fight, dear brother.
Good to see you, Jacob. 